Hi, I'm Molly. In this video, I'll be showing you what presets are and how to use them. Presets are a way of storing channel settings in a library to use again later. Maybe you've got the EQ for your kick drum just right. You can save the channel settings and recall this EQ next time you've got a similar kick drum or want to use it as a starting point. And this goes for more than just EQ. All parameters of the channel are saved in the preset and when recalling the preset, you can choose which elements of the channel you want to load. Let's start with how to make a preset. Then we'll look at recalling and managing your presets. You've got your session all set up and want to make a preset from a specific channel. At the top of the channel setup view, there is a presets button. In here, press new. You can then add a name to your preset and select a group to store it in, or even make a new group. Groups are a way of organising your presets to quickly find what you're looking for. You might want to group your presets by instrument, drums, guitars, vocal, etc. When you're ready, press create, and there we have our new preset. The colour of the ring represents the type of channel that the preset was created on blue for input channel, red for group, and so on. Presets can be made on any channel type and then recalled on any channel type. You could create a preset from an AUX bus and then recall it on a group bus, for example. When changing channel type, you may be limited by what parameters you can recall. For example, you can't recall an EQ on a CG because CG channels don't have an EQ section. Presets can also be made from the EQ, Dynamics 1 and Dynamics 2 views of a channel. If you make a preset from one of these pages, the symbol for the preset will change to represent this. From any of these preset menus, you can also update, rename or delete presets. To do this, press the function that you want. Let's pick update. Select the preset that you want to overwrite the settings for and then press update. The same process goes for renaming or deleting presets. Now let's look at recalling presets. You can recall presets from any of the four views that we've already seen. Channel setup, EQ, Dynamics 1 or 2. In the presets view for your chosen channel, simply select the preset that you want to load. Down the left hand side of this view is the recall scope. From here, you can select and deselect parameters to be loaded. Depending on the channel type that you have selected, some items in this list will be greyed out as they do not exist on the selected channel type. For example, CG members is greyed out for this input channel as it doesn't have members. If you were to try and recall a preset from, for example, the EQ presets view, only the EQ and filters parameters are selected in the recall scope. The same goes for Dynamics 1 and Dynamics 2. If you want to recall more parameters, then you must be in the presets menu found in the channel setup view. Now let's take a look at managing presets. By default, new presets are stored in the session file, not in the console's internal memory. You can store up to 250 presets per session. However, you can export presets to the console's internal memory or even to an external USB memory stick so that you can recall your personal presets into any session on any S-series console running to version 2.5 or later. In the console main menu, there is a global presets menu. From here, you can see all of the presets in the session organized into your groups. When saving presets to another location, the console makes a dot preset file that can contain multiple presets. To save one of these dot preset files onto the console or an external location, press export. This will automatically select all presets in your session. You can then deselect any presets that you don't want. Now press export at the bottom of the screen. 
Next, select the location to save this file. This could be internally on the console or an external USB device. Then press save here, give it a name and press save. To load a dot preset file, from this global presets menu, press import, then navigate to the file that you want to load. Once selected, press load. The presets within that dot preset file have now been added to the session. It's that simple. All of these steps I've just shown you can also be used on both the console and the offline software. The only difference you'll see when exporting or importing a dot preset file you'll see a slightly different interface if you're using the offline software. I hope you found this video helpful and can start making the most of the presets function next time you'll buy your S-Series console. If you're watching this live, I'll be in the comments section to answer any questions you've got. For more videos on the Digico S-Series console features, head over to YouTube and subscribe to our channel.